but ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> hey, good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to our Thursday morning, 11 a.m. Sweet and gentle yoga. I'm Pam and Dina, and I'll be your guide this morning. And this is my treat. He's our mascot. <laughs> Um, you might like to have, for this practice, a blanket to sit on or a big fat pillow. And you may also, in addition, like a bolster or a stack of pillows or a sleeping bag, something to put under your knees during deep relaxation towards the end of this practice. You might also like to have a few blocks. If you don't have blocks, you can use a stack of books or a couple of soup cans and a strap. And if you don't have a yoga strap, you could use a belt, um, just like a regular pant belt or whatnot. But I don't have anything necessarily planned for us today with the strap, but it is nice to have, especially when you are tight in the hips or shoulders. So today's sequence <clears throat> is focused on from fear to free. And we're gonna do a similar meditation, but we'll be doing a little different asana yoga poses to change it up a bit for my regular, um, my regulars that practice with me both on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So while you're getting all of that set, I just wanna take a moment to thank my paying clients for supporting this channel. Without you, um, this would not be possible. And I would like to invite those of you that are new if you'd like to get on our mailing list or um, if you would like to get updates about when I'm going to be online, you can subscribe. You can also visit to visit my website, theyogalily.com. That's T-H-E-Y-O-G-A-L-I-L-Y.com. And if you'd like to make a donation, you can also go to the shop page and make a donation there. So thank you so much again, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So come to sit on your blanket. <clears throat> sit right on the edge of the blanket. And if your knees are up, no problem. Just put a couple of uh, pillows or some blocks underneath your knees. And make sure, again, you're sitting on the edge of the blanket, the navel is engaged, you're rolled forward slightly. The lower back is long, no pinching in that lower back. Then we order to pull the shoulders up, back, and down. Turn the left palm up. And then bring your right hand in front of your right shoulder. This is Abhaya Mudra. Abhaya means fearlessness. And mudra means lock. So we're locking in the fearlessness with this position. This, this mudra helps to also create a sense of protection and peace. So we'll begin by using a centering breath here. So close the eyes, exhale. And inhale through the nose. Fill the belly, fill the ribs, fill the upper chest. Exhale through the nose, relax the upper chest, ribs, and belly. Again, inhale through the nose, expand the belly, the ribs, and the upper chest. And as you exhale, relax the upper chest, the ribs, and the belly. Inhaling, expanding the lungs to their fullest capacity. And exhaling, emptying the lungs totally. Inhaling, lengthening the spine, exhaling, settling down a little more into your seat. Breathing like this on your own. And the next time you exhale, place your right hand on the heart center and the tenderness of your heart. And 
Just notice what you're feeling inside your heart. Notice if there is any fear or anxiety there. So the mindfulness teachings tell us that the antidote to fear is compassion. It's not courage, it's compassion. So let's take a moment to speak to ourselves in a compassionate, loving, and kind way. You might like to say silently to your heart, or even out loud, I love you. I'm sorry you're feeling this way. I promise I will always be there for you. We will get through this together, no matter what comes. And let's chant the sacred sound of OM three times. Ah, O, um. Exhale. Inhale. Ah, o. And let's slowly open our eyes and rest our right hand. And we'll move compassionately today. So you can set your blocks aside for a moment and extend your legs out. And shake the legs out. And inhale the shoulders to the ears. And exhale, let go. And then keep the legs straight, engage the navel, sit up tall, and inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale, bring the right hand down and plant the right hand. We're gonna slowly side bend to the right. And you can let the head drop to the right, let the right elbow bend. Actively push the left hip down as you reach the left hand away from the left hip and bow the ribs up to the left. You can look straight ahead here. If it's okay for your neck, you could look up. It doesn't feel too friendly to my neck today. Or you could look down. I, think I'm, I like looking straight ahead. So let's take another breath here. And pull the belly muscles up, come on up. And release the left hand. Inhale the right arm up. Take a deep breath in. And side bend to the left. Keep your hips and shoulders facing forward. Let that left elbow soften. And again, you can let your head drop. If you want to look up, down, or forward, you can. Push down through the right hip. Push up through the right hand. And bow those ribs up towards the ceiling. Nice deep breaths to that right side of the body. And pull the belly muscles up and release the right arm. 
Inhale the shoulders to the ears. Exhale, let go. Readjust your seat if you need to. I'm going to pull my buttocks flush back behind me and walk the sits bones a little more forward. Engage the navel. And we're going to reach the arms out to the side this time. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, twist to the right. Bring your left hand to your right thigh. Bring your right hand behind you. Don't roll into the tailbone. Squeeze the belly muscles. Pick up the spine. And turn your belly, chest, and shoulders to the right. Gaze over your right shoulder. Engage the navel, inhale, open your wings, come center, and twist to the left. Bring your left hand behind you and your right hand on your thigh. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and again, turn the belly, chest, shoulders to the left. Turn your head to the left. Long, deep breaths here. And pull the navel back, inhale, open the wings, and exhale, relax. Okay, let's make our way up to stand. You can have your blocks up at the top of your mat. And for those of you that have knee sensitivity, go ahead and keep that blanket next to you, you so it can, you can easily reach it and find mountain pose. So make sure the feet are fist distance apart. You can make a fist with your hand and bring around the big toes with the fist. Make sure the toes are pointing forward and push down through all four corners of the feet. And we're gonna go ahead and engage the navel, engage the buttocks, roll the shoulders up back and down. Let's do that a few times. That felt really good. <laughs> and then roll forward. And then roll back again. And then the next time you roll back, keep them back, engage the navel, turn the palms forward. Grow the shoulders and arms downward. And grow the neck. Make it longer, reach the ears away from the shoulders. Take a deep breath in and exhale, relax here in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Ta-da, perfect posture every time. So just take a snapshot into your mind of what this feels like, the integrity of your spine, openness of your heart. And we're going to do tree pose first today. So let's bring the hands to the hips and ground down through the left hip, left leg and left foot. And then turn the right toes out to the side. Keep gripping those belly muscles. And some of you might prefer to have one hand on the wall. You can certainly do that. And we'll bring the right foot to either the ankle. So if you have real balance challenge, you can keep the toe on the ground or you could bring the foot to the calf or if you're very flexible and strong. You can bring your foot to your thigh, but do not put pressure on your knee. Knees are important. Squeeze the leg and the foot together. Squeeze the hip and the buttocks together. Don't judge yourself for how far you've brought your foot up. And then again, you can keep your hand on the wall or you can bring your hands to your heart center. Keep that big toe grounded. Keep turning the right knee out and keep squeezing the hips and buttocks up and in. As you inhale, lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, ground down through your left leg. This is Rikshasana tree pose. And we hold the pose for a minute so that we get the benefits of thickening the bones, 
and reversing osteopenia, preventing osteoporosis or the furthering of it. We also strengthen our legs, tone the buttocks, increase our sense of balance and grace. We strengthen the hips and the hip joint as well here. If you lose balance, like I just did, no big deal. Don't judge yourself, just bring the foot back up. The reason I lost my balance is because I wasn't focused on my dristi, which is the TV screen, the focal point. So you can shoot, find one for yourself that will help you stay stable. And then slowly release that right leg, release the arms, deep breath in and let go. You can shake it out the hips, take out the shoulders. Okay, we're gonna do the other side. So all 10 toes pointing forward, navel engaged, okay, and ground down through the right foot, all four corners of the feet, get confident on the right leg, and turn the left toes out to the side. Make sure your knee is pointing to the left. Now I have an injury on my right foot, so if you have an injury on one side, you might not come up as high, so I'm going to keep my left toes on the floor here. You might like to bring your foot up to your calf. Or your thigh but again not on your knee and then squeeze the hips squeeze the buttocks and bring the hands together at the heart center as you inhale lengthen your spine and as you exhale ground down through your right leg it's a nice time of the year to practice our tree pose all the trees are starting to get little teeny weeny nubbins on them little teeny weeny buds Getting ready to give us a show. In this first week of spring, I don't know where you're watching from, but um, what it's like there in Clifton Park and other areas. But here in the foothills of the Adirondacks, we had eight inches of snow the other day. I can actually see it thawing off of my roof from here. more breath and then release that left foot and again you can shake it out <laughs> shake out the legs and we'll go ahead and do a sun salutation from here modified version of it nice and slow so again feet fist distance apart and let's exhale the hands to the heart Tighten the buttocks, tighten the belly, hook the thumbs, and reach up. Lift your chest. Think about getting taller. Don't take any pressure in your lower back. And then exhale, fold from your hips. And let's go ahead and inhale, lift up halfway. Bring your hands to your thighs. Broaden your collarbones, push your buttocks back, pick up those belly muscles, look straight down, and exhale, fold all the way down. Engage the navel, inhale, reach the left arm up. Try to stack that left shoulder over your right. And exhale, cross your left hand over and bring it to your right leg or ankle. Engage the navel and inhale, reach the right arm up. Try to stack that right shoulder over the left and exhale, lower down. One more time, bring the hands to the thighs, inhale, halfway lift, flat back, look straight down, push the buttocks back, lengthen the neck and exhale, fold all the way down. Push down actively through the feet. And then you can line your fingers up next to your toes here if you're flex flexible like that, or you could bring your hands to blocks. Remember the blocks have three settings, high, medium, or low, so you can use whatever setting you'd like. And then step the left foot back as far as you can and bring the left knee to the floor. You're gonna sink the hips 
and open the chest, pull the shoulders back. And we'll take a few breaths here. For you guys that have knee sensitivity, go ahead and curl the back toes under and put that blanket underneath the left knee. Keep sinking the hips and lifting the chest. One more breath, see if you can sink those hips one more micro millimeter down. Good. Now if you have the blanket underneath your knee, you can go ahead and curl the back toes under and lift that knee and bring it back down to the mat and bring your right knee back to meet your left. Go ahead and come off your blocks. Have the hands under the shoulders. We're gonna do a little, um, rotation of the hips. So bring the hips back towards your heels and then all the way over to the left, all the way up towards the top left corner of your mat, across to the top right corner of your mat, and then back to the rear right corner, across to the left, up to the upper left, across to the upper right, and back to the rear right. I'm going to circle around like this a few times, inhaling as we come forward, exhaling as we come back. And if you want to use the blanket under your knees, you can also do that. Imagine your rubber, your hips are a rubber spatula trying to get that all natural almond butter off the edges of the jar. And then the next time the hips come forward, reverse the direction. Full range of motion, keep finding your edge again and again. Great, and then the next time the hips come back, Open the knees and come down to your to child's pose. You might like to have a block underneath your forehead here, or you can bring your forehead to the floor or stack your hands or make fist. Long deep breaths here into your lower back. And engage the navel, come back up to all fours. We're gonna come down to the mat, but we're gonna do so mindfully using our abdominal strength and our um, arm muscles. So pull the belly muscles back, strong abdomen, keep those abdomen muscles up as you lift the hips and draw the chest forward. The hips and elbows stay up as you bring the chest and chin to the floor. And then reach the legs back, reach the toes back. Bring the pubic bone to the floor, draw the nose to neck and chest forward. Pull the elbows back and the chest forward. We're gonna take a few breaths here in Cobra. Bhujangasana. Strengthening our back muscles. Good, one more inhale. See if you can really push your chest through your arms. And then exhale, come back to all fours. 
We're going to have the knees under the hips, the hands under the knees, and curl the toes under. Lift the knees off the mat. Lift the hips up and back. Broaden your collarbones, spread through your toes, press your heels down, press your arms forward, broaden the shoulders, lengthen the waist. Take a few breaths here, really feel the stretch through the calf muscles. And then come down to your knees. Okay, let's go ahead and if you're using the blanket underneath your knees, you're going to put the blanket under the right knee and step the left foot forward. Make sure your left knee is over your ankle, shoulder blades down, collarbones open, hips sinking forward. And nice long breaths here into the hips and lower back. I think that's a message from Linda. Hi, Linda. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. One more nice deep breath here into the hips. Okay, two more because it feels really good. <laughs> okay. If you're using the blanket, curl the back toes under, remove the blanket and step your rear foot forward. Bring your hands to your thighs, inhale, halfway lift, flat back, and exhale, fold all the way down, push down to the feet, fold from your hips, crown of the head reaches towards the floor, and inhale, hands to the thighs, inhale, halfway lift again, pull the collarbones back, and exhale down. Good, hook the thumbs, reach up, Think about taller rather than arching back so much and push the chest up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good. Separate the arms and legs. Inhale, the shoulders to the ears. Exhale, let go. Okay. So Tuesday I had to do warrior two and peaceful warrior. Today we're gonna do something a little different. So hands on the hips, tighten the buttocks and step the left foot back as far as you can. Point the left big toe towards the top left corner of the mat. The foot should be at a 45 degree angle. Don't have the foot directly behind the other one like that. You want it to be on like railroad tracks, okay? One foot on one side of the railroad track, one on the other. This one's traveled further north a little bit more, okay? And then bend the right knee, pull the belly muscles back, turn the hips forward and inhale the arms up. And we're gonna breathe as we inhale, lengthen the spine, reach the arms up. As we exhale, draw the shoulders down and sink the hips down a little bit more. Inhaling to lengthen the spine and exhale to sink into your hips and feet a little more. This is a warrior one. And I chose the warrior poses to work with this week because as spiritual warriors, we're always honest with ourselves. We can't be honest with anybody else unless we're honest with ourselves about what's going on inside of us. And then when we're really honest, we can be compassionate. If we're not honest with what we're feeling, we can't hold compassion for ourselves. We're still in denial. And um, actually... I think it was Thomas Merton who said that that was some kind of subtle violence towards ourselves if we were dishonest with ourselves about what we're truly feeling. So we, we can't, there's no way we can hold compassion and violence towards ourselves at the same time. I love the warrior poses too because they strengthen the hips and the arms and legs all at the same time. Let's exhale, bring the hands to the hips, look down at that right foot and step it forward. 
And let's take a deep breath in through the nose, shoulders to the ears. Exhale, let go. Shake out the arms. I promise I'm going to give you a nice little shoulder release here in a moment. Bring your hands to your hips and step the right foot back. Ground that right heel. Again, make sure you're on two railroad tracks, one on one side and one on the other. Bend that left knee. Pull the belly muscles back. Push the tailbone down to the rear heel. Don't turn the shoulders and hips forward as best you can. If you have a hip or a knee injury, it's common for the hips to turn slightly to the right, but we want to turn them forward as much as we can. Okay, not into pain, but a little discomfort's okay. Strong belly, reach the arms up. Again, as you inhale, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, ground down through the legs and hips. Make sure the shoulders are down, not up here, but down here. Inhaling, lengthening. Exhaling, sinking. Keep breathing deeply. Feel the strengthening and the opening of the hips and legs. Keep pushing through that rear heel so you can feel a beautiful opening through the calf muscle. One more breath. And release the arms. <sighs> Hands to the hip, flip down at that left foot, strong belly. Step that rear foot forward. Shake it out a little bit. Shake out the shoulders, shake out the arms. Deep breath in. And let go. <sighs> okay, stand um, at about to relax and let go. Feel the whole body melting into the mat like snow on a warm day. Now we want to open up that thyroid after we pressed it with fish pose. So bring the legs together, bring the arms down by the sides, palms down, thumbs underneath the thighs. Tuck the chin, push into the elbows, and sit up halfway. Look down at your toes, and then thrust your chest upward. Open your throat and place the top of your head on the floor. Bring your awareness here to the front of your throat. Smile big. We're still focusing on getting those happy hormones moving, and the smile, the bigger the smile, the more stretch you'll get in your jaw. And then push into the elbows, tuck your chin, look up, and push your spine away from your hips. Lengthen your spine, open your arms, turn your palms up, open your legs, take a breath. And as you exhale, turn your head to the one side. As you inhale, turn your head to the other. Exhaling as you turn your head to one side. Inhaling as you turn your head to the other.
And then come center, press into the back of the neck. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, let go. Feel the body resting. And then let's bend the knees, face the feet on the floor, and hold the knees. Bring the knees up to the chest, center the head, and gently rock the knees from left to right. Feel that you're smoothing and ironing out any wrinkles in your lower back. Good, and then let's come center. Keep, squeeze those belly muscles back and straighten the legs. Flex the feet and bring your hands up as well into dead bug pose. If this is uncomfortable for you and maybe it's hurting your back, you can bring your hands underneath your sacrum like so. Okay, otherwise try to keep the arms up, the hands up to drain the lymph and the blood out. You might not be able to straighten your legs as much as me. That's okay. Just do the best you can, pushing the heels up. So this will strengthen your belly muscles and also help to um, induce a state of relaxation. Feeding all of your internal organs beautiful nourishment here of your blood, your lymph is draining out. It's great for edema, varicose veins diabetes. Now, that doesn't mean that you can go have sugar. <laughs> it just means it helps it. It's not a replacement. A few more breaths here. Good. And then let's exhale, hug the knees, hold the shins, or, or if you can interlace the fingers, do so. Take a deep breath in, align those big toes, exhale, draw your toes towards your knees, hold the breath out for three, two, one. Inhale, keep holding the legs, bring the head to the floor, take another deep breath in, and exhale, pull those thighs into your chest a little more. Your chin, make sure your chin's not pointing up towards the ceiling. Strong belly and lower the feet to the floor. Lengthen out your legs one at a time. Take a breath, deep breath in. Exhale, let go. And we're gonna bend the knees once again. And this time walk the feet mat width apart or wider and bring the knees in towards one another so that you're collapsing onto the insteps of your feet. And you can bring your hands to your belly, tuck your chin slightly, close the eyes and focus on long deep breathing here in constructive rest pose. It's a great pose for stretching out the hips and some muscles that we don't normally get to. So the wider the feet, the closer the knees, the deeper the pose.
One more breath here. And then heel toe the feet in towards one another and bring the soles of the feet together. Open the knees just for a short groin opener. We'll breathe into the groin. and engage the navel, and then inner thighs together. Let's go ahead and roll onto one side and slowly, mindfully sit yourself up. Let's sit on the edge of our blankets. We're gonna stretch out our back muscles and our legs a little bit. So sit up nice and tall on the edge of your blanket and extend your legs out one at a time. Reach the legs out, press out through the heels, push the toes forward, engage your navel, and inhale, reach your arms up. Take a deep breath in, pull from your hips, guide your chest forward. You can bring your hands to whatever you can touch, your shins, the ankles, maybe the toes. Don't force yourself, okay? Remember we're practicing compassion. Once you get to that first edge, take a deep breath in, lengthen the spine, and exhale, fold a little more, let the head hang into Paschimottanasana, the west stretch pose. Breathe deep into your west side, which is your back body. This pose focuses on harmonizing the nervous system, improving digestion, and relieving back pain. Be patient with yourself. I know there's a tendency to get impatient in this pose, but breathe through it. You'll get the reward soon. Engage the navel, hook the thumbs, reach up, and exhale out and down. Mm. Okay, we're gonna set up for deep relaxation. So you might like to have um, a blanket to cover up your body. This is the most important part of the practice and your body temperature does have a tendency to cool I like to put a pillow underneath my head or blanket sometimes. These days I've been wanting a blanket, a pillow underneath because I have it. And then uh, you can have the bolster underneath your knees. You can set the bolster on uh, high or low depending on what feels most comfortable to you. And then once you're laying down, on your back, the um, the, knee, the feet are wide and the knees are draped over the bolster. You'll lay on your back with your palms turned up and your head centered. So just take a moment to get into that pose. I'm gonna cover up with a blanket and get a timer going so that I don't fall asleep live on camera for you. <laughs> and we wanna make sure that we are really comfortable here. 
remember that this is sweet and gentle yoga. We're acting, uh, we're practicing out of loving kindness for ourselves. So make any adjustments you need to make. And we're going to take one more second to just get any last things, any last movements out, and then make a commitment to remain still. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, relax the body. And bring your awareness to the soles of your feet. As you inhale, draw the breath up your legs, up your spine, up your arms, up the, to the top of the head. And imagine there's a pressure valve at the top of the head and it's just been removed. Open your mouth and let the breath go. Let all the pressure go. Inhale into the top of the head. Breathe down your body, down your arms, down the legs, and down into your feet. And remove the pressure valve off your feet. Open the mouth and let it all go. Now inhale into the soles of the feet, up the legs, the spine, the arms and head, all the way up to the top of the head. And feel that pressure valve being released and exhale. Feel the body settling into the floor. We begin to inhale into the right palm the right arm, the whole right side of the body from head to heel, the left side of the body from head to heel, the left arm to the left palm, and exhale out of the left palm. Now inhale into the left palm, left arm, whole left side of the body, whole right side of the body, right arm, right hand, and exhale to the right hand. Feel the body settling in even more. Now inhale into the back of the body. So much so that you feel the back of the body lifting off subtly with the inhalation. Send that breath into the front of the body now. And feel that a pressure valve has been released off the front of the body. And exhale, let it all go up into the ethers. And now inhale into the front of the body. Inhale into the back of the body. Again, so much so that you feel the back of the body lifting off just slightly in certain areas from the power of the breath. And imagine there's a valve being released off the back of the body and let it all go. Feel the body settling down into the mat, into the floor, into the solidity of the earth. Now enter your body fully. Notice what it's like to feel inside a relaxed body. Now 
Notice if there's any subtle way that you may be trying to make or force the body to relax. It's common, especially in the beginning, to believe that if we don't make the body relax, it won't relax. We're afraid we won't experience the relaxation we desire. Let us for today just trust that the body knows what to do. Bring the awareness to this subtle, soft breath. Feel it coming into you and moving out from you. Notice if there's any hidden ways that you may be being impatient with the breath. Maybe you're not allowing the natural pauses between each inhale or exhale to happen. That's okay. Just notice it without judgment. And see if we can rest in trusting that the breath has its own wisdom. We don't need to be afraid whether or not we're breathing correctly. Just watch it, silent witness of the breath. And now bring your awareness to your mind. Notice what's happening inside your head. Maybe there's no thought or some thought. Maybe there's only recognition of the words of speaking or the sounds around you. Have no judgment. Just notice and watch. Observe as a silent witness. And again, notice if there's any subtle ways you might be trying to direct the thoughts or push certain thoughts away or draw certain ones near. Sometimes we are afraid if we don't control the mind that we won't have the peaceful spiritual experience we're looking for. So I'm here to tell you that that silent witness does all the work for you. You don't need to choose or cling onto any thought. Just watch it all happening without being attached to it. Allow yourself to be awareness. Awareness is who you are. 
Awareness is what you are. Just without moving, notice how you feel. And then begin to roll onto one side. And give yourself a big hug. Give yourself a little gratitude and thanks for taking this time to practice yoga today. And then mindfully begin to push yourself up to sit. You may like to sit on your bolster or your blanket. Maybe put your blocks underneath your knees. Mm. 
Roll those shoulders up, back and down. Turn the left palm up and bring the right hand in front of the right shoulder. We're gonna do a little Kapalabhati breath followed by a short meditation. So Kapalabhati breath helps to cleanse the toxins that have been released into the bloodstream after our yoga practice. And it also helps to clean out the lungs, which is really important during this time in history. I want everyone doing this every single day. Okay. So we're gonna do a nice long round, do about 25 ex exhalations. And remember, it looks and sounds like this. Breath's coming out, out, out of the nose. We're not focusing on the inhale, it's passive inhale, pumping the abdomen. And if you want a further ex um, explanation of Kabbalah Bhati, you can visit the Kabbalah Bhati video on this channel. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and sit up tall. Close the eyes, exhale through the nose. Inhale, let us sit and begin on my third. Exhale completely. With your eyes closed, take a deep breath in. Bring your awareness to your palms and exhale. Let the breath be natural. Now as you naturally inhale, feel that you're inhaling in through the left palm, up into your heart center and then exhaling out the heart center, down the right arm and out the right palm. Inhaling left, exhaling right. Inhaling left, exhaling right. And we'll use a tool for the mind, a mantra. So as we inhale into the left palm, silently think whatever comes, comes. To exhale to the right, whatever goes, goes. Inhaling whatever comes, comes. Exhaling whatever goes, goes. Whatever comes, comes. Whatever goes, goes. And then the next time you exhale, bring your right hand to the tenderness of your heart center, bring your left hand on top of that. And again, silently affirm to yourself, no matter what comes, no matter what goes, I'll always be here for you. I'll always love you. Let us close with our peace sloka. You're welcome to just listen if you're learning. Exhale through the nose. Inhale. Loka samasta sukino bhavantu. May the entire universe be filled with peace and joy, love and light. Namaste. Divine in me honors the divine in you and knows that we are one. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. And once again, I'd like to thank all of my paying clients for supporting this channel. And if you would like to become part of our yoga community, you can sign up for our email list at theyogalily.com. That's T-H-E-Y-O-G-A-L-I-L-Y.com. The link is listed in the show notes as well to make a donation. So I hope that you're all doing well, being healthy and happy and enjoying this time at home. So 
Um, please like, comment, share this post. You could be helping someone that could really benefit from some yoga today. So have a beautiful day. Make sure you're still hydrating. Mm-hmm. <laughs>